guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another foundation review. I told you I'm on fire at the minute with foundation reviews. Foundation February. <laughs> In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the highly, 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 highly requested foundation. Honestly, I have been absolutely overwhelmed. Like, all of the messages, all the comments, all the requests for me to test this foundation out on my oily skin. So this is the L'Oreal, the brand new L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. It's a brand new release from L'Oreal and it's meant to be a foundation that offers 24 hours of wear that's breathable and comfortable, transfer resistant, sweat resistant, water resistant, oil resistant, like literally everything. It's basically meant to be a godsend for your skin. <laughs> there are a lot of people saying that this is the best drugstore foundation that they have ever used. So of course we're going to be trying it now if you are new here i do have a very oily skin type i have textured skin and by all means my skin isn't perfect so it's always interesting to see how these types of formulas do perform with actual problem skin it's okay to market something and say that it's transfer proof and sweat proof and oil proof and you know doesn't increase texture and stuff but you know for someone who's got perfectly smooth and normal skin that just behaves itself and sits down and does what it's told it's a very very different story when you're actually testing it on the things that you know they're supposed to target um so yes basically i'm going to go through um what i normally go through in my foundation review videos i'm going to be showing you close up exactly how the formula applies how it looks and then we're going to be doing a wear test now it's only 8 a.m here now um i'm going to be wearing this one all the way through until probably 9 10 o'clock tonight depending to bed. <laughs> um, so a very, very long time and we're going to see exactly how it performs. So yes, if you are interested in a full in-depth review on the brand new L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation, long name, then please keep on watching. Now this is what the packaging of this foundation does look like. It comes with a little seal. It says new like oxygen technology on there. Now you do actually get 30 mil of product in this one and it does come in 30 shades. I've had a little look at the shade range um, on the website and it does look reasonably good. It's very hard to tell from, like, from the little swatches though. So on the website, it says breakthrough long wear foundation with breathable skin technology. Uh, 24 hour fresh wear foundation provides a medium to full build Buildable coverage that lasts all day and allows the skin to breathe. It says that the formula contains three oil absorbers that will resist sweat, water, and transfer. Um, it's an ultra thin liquid that goes on smoothly, looks healthy, stays true to color, and blends evenly so that your makeup looks fresh all day. And it's formulated with SPF. It doesn't have an S, I can't see an SPF rating on this though. It's not available here in Australia yet. That's why it took me so long to actually be able to review it. I had to order it from overseas. Um, I can't see an SPF though. It's Sometimes we don't even get products here in Australia um, that you guys get around the rest of the world if they do have SPF in them. Or we don't get them for like literally two years because SPF restrictions in Australia are very, very, very hardcore. We do have incredibly strong UV rays down here, down under. <laughs> um, and it takes products a very, very long time to be able to meet those restrictions. So whether or not we're even going to get it here in Australia, I do not know yet. I do not know. Now, as always, I'm going to prime only half of my face with my Holy Grail primer to see if it actually makes a difference to the formula and to see if you guys are actually going to be able to wear it without a primer if you prefer. Um, Hourglass Mineral Veil is my absolute favorite. We all know this. If you're an oily skin type like me and you're looking for something that will literally like rock your jocks, this is the one. I'm just going to apply it to this side of my face. I'm going to jump in and apparently you can apply it with your fingers, a brush or a sponge. We all know I am not at all a fan of applying foundation with your fingers. Ugh, big mess. So I'm just going to be testing it with a sponge and a brush. All right, let's try her out. Now I did get two shades because again, I had to buy it online and I had no idea. I've got 250 radiant sand and 220 sand. They actually both look pretty good. I'll try the sand first. Let's see what the formula is like. Oh, it is actually quite runny. See that there? It is quite a runny formula. It sort of smells like sunscreen. It's got like a sunscreen scent. Hmm. All right, let's get applying. Um, I'll zoom you in so that you don't miss a thing. <laughs> so I'm going to try with a brush first. That's just one pump of product on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to start down here on the lower part of my face. 
Yeah, it does blend easily and that color match does look pretty good actually. It's definitely seeming to be more of a buildable formula, um, light to medium kind of coverage. Does feel very, very light on the skin though. Ooh, okay, let's try another pump and we'll try a beauty blender. So picking up the foundation and I'm going to try it. It really does feel super lightweight kind of as I'm applying it. Like it doesn't, you know how sometimes when you put a foundation on and immediately you're like, oh, that does not feel good. Um, I'm not getting, you know, any of those kind of sensations at all. Oh, damn. Okay. You want to use this with a sponge, guys. Have a look at the coverage difference. Uh, yeah. With a brush, it looks a lot more natural and it's sort of lower coverage. I mean, it looks natural either way. Like, I feel like my skin looks nice at the top there too. But you're going to get an even more sort of naked skin look if you do use a brush. And it's looking pretty good on this side. Now, obviously, there's nothing on this side. No primer. Uh, it doesn't appear to be settling into my pores, which is nice to see, obviously. Pretty much used all the product on the back of my hand again, though. So that's two pumps already. And pretty much I've only done half my face. Um, so, yeah, as far as like being like a full coverage formula that you don't need much of, um, you probably will find that you will go through this based on what I've seen. Now, I am quickly going to try with the brush again on the side with the primer just to see if you know, primer potentially makes a difference. I mean, it looks beautiful with a brush as well, but yeah, if you're a full coverage kind of gal like I am, you're going to want to use a sponge. It's quick and easy to blend. It's blending really well. I'm not noticing any streaks as I'm blending. It certainly blends beautifully on the skin. And I do think it looks just as nice. On, oh, it might be... It's hard to tell until I finish, but is there something funky going on just here with it? Could be a dry patch. It's possible. I had a weird dry patch just there the other week, so it could be that. Okay, back in with a sponge now. Yeah, I definitely prefer the sponge application, like so much more. It just, it looks beautiful on the skin. It's Really nice coverage with a sponge. Like you're going to use a lot less product. All right. So this is what my skin is looking like now. It took three pumps in total to do my entire face. I'm liking how it is looking. I do feel like it looks smoother on the side where I've got a primer on. Um, I feel, hang on, I'll zoom you in first. I feel like it might be looking a little bit more textured just here on my cheek where I do have enlarged pores. Um, you know, more so than it is on this side. I don't necessarily feel like it's sinking into my pores, but I also don't feel like it's particularly, you know, smoothing them necessarily. Um, it's definitely very lightweight. It has dried down to a powdery type finish. If you're not super oily like I am, you probably could get away with not powdering this foundation. Color match is really, really good. The finish is good. It's certainly light and natural. It doesn't feel heavy. Like I said, it feels very light, to be honest. Yeah, you could, if, if I didn't know that I had just applied it, I wouldn't know that I had a foundation on. Like, it feels really incredible on the skin. All right, cool. I'm going to pop the rest of my makeup on. Um, I'm not doing anything particularly exciting today. So it's just going to be very minimal makeup. And then we're going to start the wear test. All right, so here is what my skin is looking like with the rest of my makeup on. I do still feel, I mean, it looks very light and sort of fresh, but I do still feel like I do have some maybe some settling in my pores just sort of here right on my cheeks where I do have enlarged pores there. I just do feel like it looks extra, like a little bit more textured than I would generally prefer. Um, I do still feel like it looks less textured on the side where I have got the primer on, but everywhere else it looks really, really nice. There is no creasing or anything. Um, it feels really, really smooth. I only applied a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes. I didn't bother concealing anywhere else because I was pretty happy with the coverage. Um, and then I powdered it down just with a translucent powder. And it is looking pretty good. So here is the side with no primer. It's what the skin is looking like. Actually, I can zoom in even closer. That might be a little bit better. So yeah, so here is the side without the primer. I just feel like there's some texture just here. 
um, but it looks and feels very smooth everywhere else. And then this is the side with the primer. Um, again, I do still feel like it looks a little bit textured here. Um, I mean, my skin usually does, but I don't normally notice it this much. So I do feel like it definitely has settled. Um, I feel like less on this side with the primer, but it's still there. And again, it's very smooth and lightweight everywhere else. Um, I don't feel like it's clinging to the skin or I don't feel like it's adding any like weird sort of surface texture in other areas. It doesn't look dry. It doesn't look odd. It doesn't look cakey. Um, it certainly feels very, very, very light. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how it goes. So pretty much I'm going to go wear this for probably about six to seven hours and then check in. Um, that'll be the first that you hear from me. And hopefully I've got good news. Um, we will see. I've got a lot to do around the house today. Not looking forward to it, but yes. I will see you guys soon. Hey guys, so I'm back with my first check-in for the day and oh my goodness, my skin is looking freaking incredible. Um, I am low-key freaking out actually about how good this looks. Like it's insane. Um, firstly, before we jump into that, I did take a flash photo and I did not notice any flashback. Um, even though this is meant to be like an SPF inclusive formula. Um, I did not notice any flashback at all. I felt like my face was look, you know, it looked exactly the same as my neck and my chest. Um, so, oh my goodness, we have got zero caking. We have got zero separation. We have got zero transference. Um, it's quite hot outside today. I've been sweating. I don't know this is gross, but like so far to the point that, you know, like the back of my hair at the nape of my neck is like a little bit damp and it has not affected the foundation whatsoever. It still looks beautifully matte. Um, I'm definitely like my natural oils have started to come through and whatnot, obviously. Um, but it is controlling shine like you would not believe. I do have a little bit of shine, so sort of just on the sides of my nose, maybe a little bit up here. But for the most part, my skin is looking ridiculously matte, especially for six hours. Like I've had this on for six hours now. Um, my skin never looks this nice. Like, and especially never looks this mad at the six hour mark. Like, I do not even feel any need whatsoever to touch this up. It looks absolutely beautiful. There's still no creasing, um, absolutely no caking. It still feels really lightweight and kind of velvety on the skin. Like... Oh, I'll zoom you in and show you close up. And I have also found that now that my oils have come through, the settling and the texture that I was really noticing sort of on this area of my cheeks has really, really smoothed out and settled down. Like, I don't feel like it is anywhere near as noticeable as it was earlier. Um, and I'm pretty happy now with how that is looking. But this is the side with no primer. Looks so beautiful. It feels fresh and it looks fresh. Like honestly, exactly like the name says, I feel like it looks like I have freshly applied like a dewy finish sort of a foundation. Like it looks beautiful. So no primer. And then on the primer side, I really can't tell the difference. I don't, I cannot tell the difference. I don't feel like it's smoother on the side with the primer. I don't feel like it's held up better. Like it looks beautiful and perfect on both sides of my face. I am so impressed. Have been leaning on my face, touching my face how I normally do when I'm working and things like that. No transfer of any of this foundation on either side. Holy crap, maybe people are right about this. Oh, I'm going to be so excited if they are. It honestly looks beautiful. I am really, really happy. Like, if this holds up for another six hours, damn. She's going to be a new contender for, like, my holy grails. No separation whatsoever. Look, it's just beautiful and smooth. No caking. Whew. Okay, guys. I'm a little bit excited, fingers crossed, things stay like this over the next six hours when I see you guys later on tonight, fingers crossed because we're looking good. All right, I'll talk to you guys tonight. All right guys, so back for my final check-in, we are 12 hours into wearing this foundation and holy crapoli. I cannot believe how good this looks on my skin. I cannot deal. All right. Let's move in closer. So firstly, I am oily, but I am not ridiculously oily. I do have oil through my T-zone, on my nose, my chin, at the sides of my nose. Like I am definitely oily. Um, it's always tricky to sort of show you guys with the studio lighting and things like that. It definitely makes it seem not as bad um, as it actually is in person. I'm definitely, definitely oily, um, but not anywhere near as bad um, as I have been with other foundations, certainly. And at the same time, 
This foundation has held up so well, even though we've had these oils come through. There is still absolutely no separation. There is no caking. There is no like splitting of the foundation around my jaw and my chin. Like normally foundations, like if my skin doesn't really particularly agree with them, sort of around this area of my mouth, I would just get like horrid, 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 like separation and cakiness and texture. And it just looks awful. Yeah, this foundation literally looks like I have just applied it. So um, as far as a comparison goes, maybe, oh, maybe I've lost a little bit of product just up here around the hairline. Certainly not much at all. Um, I've still got full coverage down the sides of my face. And like I said, I have been leaning on my hands. I'm doing all the usual things I would. Oh. Yeah, no, nah, it's still on that side as well. And as far as comparison goes, this is the side here where I didn't apply the primer. Um, it looks so beautifully smooth. It looks dewy. It looks glowy. Um, probably at this point, I would want to maybe touch up just a tiny little bit through the T-zone. So a little bit on my forehead, a little bit at the end of my nose here. Oh, and I wore glasses. She has not come off at all. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I probably would put a little bit of powder on and maybe we can actually try that. But, um... You know, in comparison, like the no primer side in comparison to the primer side, very little difference, very little difference. So if you are somebody who doesn't really like to wear a primer, um, you know, everybody, it's everybody's decision. Everybody's got their own preferences and whatnot. You certainly could get away with not wearing a primer with this foundation. Absolutely. Um, I just can't believe how good it looks. What the hell? It has held up so well. This is a drugstore foundation. A drugstore foundation. It is affordable. I'm just going to take a tiny little bit of translucent powder on the blending sponge that I used to apply the foundation earlier on today. And I'm just going to touch up and just sort of see how it reacts. I mean, normally when you touch up, like if you get super oily like me, normally if you just touch up the T-zone, that's all you need to do. So nose, sort of like on either side of your nose, top lip, obviously, chin, and then forehead. That's usually all you need to do. Oh my god, it touches up perfectly. Yeah. Guys, oh my goodness. I freaking love this. I love this. So this is what my skin is looking like now that I have touched up through the T-zone. I've left the oil everywhere else. I I feel like I could literally go another six hours. Like this just looks so beautiful on the skin. It still feels incredibly lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel thick. It doesn't feel like... You know, it's congesting my skin or anything like that. It just feels incredible. Oh, okay. I'm officially on the bandwagon. I've officially arrived. A little bit late, I know. But I've officially arrived. And I, I honestly agree with everybody who is raving on and on and on about this foundation. It is absolutely beautiful. Definitely one of the best drugstore foundations that I have ever tried. Um, hands down, absolutely hands down. It's still too early at this point to say, you know, whether or not this takes over like the Maybelline Full Coverage Foundation or the L'Oreal True Matte Foundation because it's obviously only the first time I have worn it. I will continue wearing it over the next few weeks, trying it with different primers and different powders and different situations and things like that. But as first impressions, wow, I need backups. I literally need backups. This stuff is incredible. I just can't stop staring at my skin. Like I just, I, it looks like I've only just applied, like I've had this on for 12 hours. Are you kidding? How? There are no words. So that's pretty much it for the review of this foundation today, guys. If you've got any more questions about the formula or about the application or how it wore or how it felt or, you know, anything to do with oily skin or anything to do with dry skin, anything to do with anything, please pop all of that in the comment section down below. Um, I'll be hanging out down there with you guys answering any questions. I'm definitely happy, confident, you know, more than willing to say. I 100% give this a thumbs up. I think it's brilliant. Um, and I think that if you've got a similar skin type to me, you will absolutely love it. But I also think even if you don't have a similar skin type to me, you'll absolutely love it. Dry skin, normal skin, combo skin. Um, I think everybody is going to adore this foundation. It's honestly beautiful. Well done, L'Oreal. Well done. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it from me. I don't even want to take this off. It looks that pretty, but I will. Because it is well and truly bedtime. But yes, I love you all so, so much. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Thank you to all of you who did request me to review this one. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.